man's imagination or you know his um I would say that was the that's the the sparkle in my you know eye probably just the way the whole surrounding cosmos of uh, you know man's imagination you know the one like kind of you know thread of uh, jubilation in my song my grandfather played guitar and I know that um, my mama told me that from the first time when I was a little baby if he opened that guitar started playing it I would just crawl over there and sit there watch him all night you know I just loved it you know and so that's kind of how I knew band kind of just happened. Jimmy didn't ever, he never played drums before and we were going on tour and we needed a drummer. <laughs> and so he could get off work. So we were like, okay, you'll learn how to play drums on the road and at Dern Soundcheck. So, and I just happened to buy these toy drums for five dollars, you know, uh, just to have around to use on my four track, you know, just messing around in my house. And so we took them and he learned how to play them and now they sound mighty, you know. Now they're just like mighty toy drums, you know. They're great. I wouldn't trade, now I, you know, I'd hate to have anything else. And I just use cheap guitar because I like nylon strings and they're cheap. I can break them and they cost about $60. I can replace them, get the exact same kind again. And I use some um, distortion because um, I just shoplifted a distortion pedal one day from a, a pawn shop in somewhere in middle America, and then it was like, you know, yes. Les bois, il y, y a quatre voix. Quatre voix, ok. Je fais les bois. Ouais. Tu fais la basse, tu fais la basse et deux guitares. Ouais. C'est tout en fait. Ouais. Ouais, ok. Alors, vite. Guitare, on met quoi, 57 ou So you have to tune the guitar strings down to get on the airplane. Something about the low pressure up at that altitude can make the strings break. It... We're four all together. Um, Alex plays guitar, Tina plays bass, I play drums, and Vic plays guitar and sings. I just make extra noise in the background. Yeah.
acorn squash, the hard rose of okra. Stand up, some corner by the trickling creek. Winter dead, buried me in the pulpit. Mainly they were picked them because, you know, just, I don't know, they just kind of like fit in, you know, fell into the band, you know. Tina, somebody jumped, when I first married Tina, somebody said, you got a great bass player at home. Some drunk guy at a party, because Tina played banjo, and they were like, she can play banjo, she can play bass, you can get her to play bass, you're an idiot. So I was like, okay. So I went home and said, Tina, you gotta play bass. She said, okay. And so, and Jimmy, you know, he, like I, I told a little story about him playing drums before, about he could get off work, so he said, hey, Jimmy, come on the road. Hey, hey, you'll learn during sound check, and so, that was that, and um, Alex, we just kind of, uh, I thought I w we needed an extra buffer for this tour when we toured with that band live, you know. He's from America. We toured with them, and so I thought, we gotta get another guitar player so we can dazzle, I mean, you know, kind of. Uh, This ain't like Athens, I must say, being up here. It's just, it's another world. A world of smooth, smooth boys and girls. Everybody's kind of smooth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing, nobody's getting bothered about nothing, you know? Everybody's having some fun. It's beautiful and everybody's kind of sweating. The old guys got on their bikini bathing suits, you know, looking good. It's, you know, it's amazing. And there's so many bands playing at the festival. That's why it's amazing. I don't usually like festivals much, you know, because I don't like to play outside very much. I like to play at night, you know, in a dark, smoky club, you know, or in a theater or something, you know? So, um, it's hard, but this, everybody's made me feel kind of, you know, groovy. So I didn't, I wasn't even really nervous last night before we played, which is remarkable. I don't know, something was going on. They put something in our snack here at the festival. It made us all feel at home or something, I don't know. I'd still say it's the smoothest festival about smoothest festival anywhere it seems like and um last night i went and i ate a oh i forgot what you call it where you put the cheese up to the thing and it melts and you scrape it off and you eat it we went to somebody's house 
I don't know which way. Um, towards Vevey, I think. And uh, we ate, and we ate till three in the morning. And so I'm pretty fat now. I do paintings and poetries and other things. I dabble in everything, sure. Every kind of little arty kind of thing I can do, just because I'm an arty guy. I do, um, I do art therapy for my own, for my own sanity. You know, I do art therapy. It's it's necessary for you. Doing. Well, I just, I feel like when I'm being doing like little creative endeavors. That's when I, I feel like I'm doing something worthwhile, you know, for my own personal. I don't feel like I'm wanking off, you know, most of the time. I feel like I'm doing something, you know, good. Like, it's like a meditation kind of thing, you know, As a prayer, you know, to the human race or something like that, you know what I mean? It's like I'm sending out the good vibes, you know, to the universe, you know what I mean? That's how I feel when I'm doing little artistic endeavors. Well, some sexual ten minutes of me It's very magical being in the studio, you know? You can make, it's really, it's really, you know, you can do a lot with it. It's also very kind of distorting. You know, it distorts everything kind of out of real life and into this kind of, you know, Walt Disney World or something, you know, kind of sometimes. You have to watch that. But I really do like to record. After the splice. Soldier ever loved. Ooh, look at 
I'm not one of those people who believes. Oops, sorry. That only um, that oh, I'm sorry. That only um, you know, sad people can do the best art or anything like that or do. I don't believe that at all. One of the greatest, you know, powers that make make I think me write songs and you know is revenge. You know, it's like you know you can write about little things that happen and you can get you know it can it can you know dissipate all the badness around it. Go. funny thing to talk about because it seems really you know you know but it really I do I mean I I have to get in a little kind of you know weird state you know my stomach feels funny and I kind of a hot you know flushed face you know and I have to get it and I it's funny the different ways that I drive myself into the state it's a uh, it's uh, you know I you know it's it's very it's very weird mystical kind of you know emotional state and it needs to be I need to be alone of course and do you need to be drunk or to be uh... no no not at all it can you know not at all I mean not saying that I haven't been drunk when I went into the, my little hocus pocus state or I haven't been stoned or anything when I was you know Definitely, I've done it that way, but you know, I do it, you know, anyway. You know, even with if I've got like food poisoning, you know, I'd probably be able to do it if I was alone. And you know what I mean? The, given the right circumstances, you know, because it's a very intense process writing songs, kind of. I'd love to go everywhere. Traveling is, I don't know, it's like a, a drug, you know? You start doing it, and then it like, it's really intoxicating, and then I go through withdrawal every time I come off the road. I'm, you know, I love to sit at home, but then it didn't take but a couple of days, you know, you know. I wish I was in Europe, or, you know, I wish I was in South America. It's really important to my songwriting nowadays, you know, recently, um, you know, because I do so much traveling. It's really, um, I think a lot of, like, kind of changing, like, the images in my songs are changing a lot, you know, from being, you know, singing about pine trees for the first 25 years of my life, you know. Now I see places that don't have pine trees anymore, and I, you know, it just, it, it just is a great, inspire you know it just fires my heart and my imagination really a lot I dream about 
thing, you know, the, you know, images are different in my dreams now. weird you know it's I it's really fun and it's it's uh, it's really goofy it gives you a goofy feeling I'm always embarrassed at that moment you know in a show at the end when everybody's clapping and more, more, you know, it really I feel really great but I, I try to hide it you know keep a straight face you know. oh I don't care you know that kind of thing when I'm really just, I'm just trying my best to keep my mouth from just, you know, going, oh, <laughs> and drooling, you know, because it's, it's really, I'm embarrassed by how much fun it is. I don't know why either, but it's a weird thing, a bunch of people out there, you know, clapping and going crazy. I don't know, maybe it's all that clapping, you know, makes the air rush around funny and give, gives you a high. Where I wish I was Twisting up the pages Of history My coat be dangling My pony arm gesturing Summing up a little chunk Of that history Mais moi, moi c'est pas la chaise, hein. c'est... Euh, je veux dire, les émotions, elles sont pareilles avec quelqu'un qui est valide ou pas valide, ça change pas, c'est pas du tout la chaise, c'est juste que je ressens... Enfin, je, je trouve qu'il a des lyriques comme Bob Dylan ou comme ça, j'aime bien. Je trouve qu'avec peu de matériel, il arrive à faire beaucoup de différents sons. Je veux dire, il y a des grands groupes qui se trimballent avec 36 000 camions de, de matériel qui peuvent même pas venir jouer tout près. Et puis lui, euh, il se promène avec trois guitares, euh, sa petite cymbale et tout, et puis ils arrivent à faire des sons vraiment fantastiques. I, that's what, I never say no, I don't care, you know. I mean, when I'm at home, I am a very kind of a hermit type, you know, when I'm, but when I'm on the road, it's a different story, you know. I like to talk to people, but, um, and, you know, I like to talk about music and things too, it's good, it helps. It's like going to the psychiatrist, you know, talking to people in the press. It's really very much like talking to a psychiatrist for free. And it's so, it's good. It's really good for me. And I find that um, I need that kind of thing on the road, especially because it's hard on the road. And so sometimes just some talking, you know, outside of my head, you know, is good. It's really good for me. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you're in the van with the same people, you know, and conversation tends to get squished, you know, in the van and in the rock and roll way you know it gets squished down to these where are we gonna eat where are we gonna eat where, you know these kind of things you know i don't you know everything sounds bad at sound check you know these kind of things 
So it's good to talk about art. In the corridor, I think anybody can do anything, yeah, basically. I've seen anybody's do any, everything, you know? So um, I definitely believe that, yes.